Hi, I'm Daniel Kendall. I'm going to show you a couple of new products. The Video Over IP Encoder KDS EN6 and the Decoder KDS DEC6. The KDS EN6 and the KDS DEC6 are the most sophisticated video decoders and encoders in the Kramer range. They support 4K30, 444 and HTCP 2.2. Unlike the other video encoders and decoders in the Kramer range that support H.264 encoding, the KDS6s support MJPEG encoding, resulting in less latency. The question will be asked, can these be used on any network? The answer will be no. They have to be a minimum of one gig network, supporting of jumbo frames and IGMP snooping. If jumbo frames and IGMP snooping is not enabled on your network, these devices will not work. Let's have a look at the front of the, the encoder. We have a button for selecting the channel down, a button for selecting the channel up, a display that shows you the current channel you're on, a status light LED, a link light, and a static on light. The reason for having different channels is the ability to have multiple encoders and decoders on a network so you can switch between any possible encoder from a decoder, making a virtual matrix. Now let's have a look at the back of the unit. We have a LAN port supporting of PoE, a HDMI input, a Phoenix adapter for RS-232 control, IR inputs, a audio line input, a reset button, a USB input, and DC power up to 48 volts. All the control ports are passed through to the decoder. Let's have a look at the front of the uh, DC6. You have IR outputs, TX and RX, a reset pin, a channel down and a channel up selection, a channel display, USB inputs for keyboard and mice for KVM over the over IP, status light, link light and an on LED. Let's have a look at the back of the unit. Here we have a LAN PoE input, a LAN pass-through, an HDMI output, an RS-232 control port, audio output, and a DC input up to 48 volts. It's important to know that the second pass-through LAN port only to be used when you're in a video wall configuration for bandwidth reasons. To control these products, we recommend Kramer Control or Kramer Network. However, any control system supportive of Telnet on APIs will work just fine. For any more information, please visit our website. Thank you for watching.